Hello everyone. So if you are using the Google SketchUp web uh, version, this looks a little bit different than the version we were using in, in class. So I'm just going to show you where the 3D warehouse is and how to change the color of the furniture. So if you go over here to this menu, so this menu over here are the tools and these ones over here are um, the panels that you had on the side in the classroom. So if you want to uh, import something from the 3D Warehouse, you're going to click this Components button and if you just hover over top you'll see it tells you the name of each of these panels. So I'm going to click on um, the Components here and I'm going to search for Chair and I'm going to import this chair and now we're going to change the color of it. So I'm going to click on this button here which is materials and if you want to change um, the color of something inside a piece of furniture you need to first explode it. So when you see it, the box surrounding it that means that it's one component image. So whoever made this made this chair of all different kinds of shapes and then at the very end made it into one shape so that you can easily scale the entire thing up and down. But if you want to change the color you need to do what's called an exploding of it first or an edit component. It depends on how they made it. So I'm just going to right click here. I'm going to click edit component and so if I grab my color and I try and paint it, it's not going to work. Okay, so I need to check and see if um, I've, so it's that whoever made this made a component within a component. So I need to um, explode it again. So now you can see that the top of the chair is, is still a component and the legs are individual things. So that means I need to um, explode it again. explode. So I'm going to explode it until it's all different things. So now I have the couch cushion is its own thing. If I try and paint it, it's not going to work. So you need to right click and explode it again. So now it will let me paint it. So that's how you change the color uh, of a piece of furniture. Okay, if you have any other questions, you can write it in the classroom and I will record a video like this to answer those questions.